Ma! <laughs> these enemies are Waku Waku guys, it's super Waku Waku. <laughs> yeah, these enemies are absurdly Waku Waku. See, it's Waku Waku. See, Anya proves this enemy. She's so Sundra, it's pretty funny, man. Yeah, she's so, she's so Sundra, Jesus Christ, bro. Man, I love this bit here, yeah. <laughs> she's like, I can do it, I can do it. No, stop it. <laughs> like, no. Hickey, hickey, dash your boo, dash your boo. I can do it, I can do it. Are you sure? Oh, I can, I can do it. So Anya proves this anime, so do I, right? Let's review. What is anime? Yeah, it's cute girl don carpenter rhymes. So I want you guys to subscribe, slap us over, right? Let's talk about the cute girls that do woodworking. What's aloof main character ever, right? So this anime is called Do It Yourself, right? A new anime that is super, super waku waku. Anya would love this anime. No, but seriously, this, this main character has a lot of pets, right? And she's just... She's kind of like, she's like the less, <laughs> she's like Anya, she was really lazy, no. No, but it is a very wholesome, typical, cute anime, right? So I love this kind of anime, it's called Slice of Life, right? Or you could call them Cute Girl Does Cute Stuff, right? And yeah, I really like episode one. It's basically this incredibly, though, lazy, kind of uh, sort of aloof main character. It's like, oh, I tripped again. Yeah, she like literally, you know, walks into a light post. Like, oh, I ruined my bike with that thing. So on. yeah, and it's completely, you know, like, oh, where am I? And so on, right? Uh, but it's fun. It's endearing, right? You know, one anime I really love is, for example, Nomi no Biyaru. I think it was as good as Nomi Biyaru, but definitely that kind of reading, right? Just like, you know, girls that just go and they build stuff. This, this comes here, right? Instead of doing fishing or playing boards and whatever, in this anime they do woodwork, right? So the main goal so far, right, because obviously the main story isn't like super deep, is that the main character wants her Sundra girlfriend, best friend, whatever, uh, to be her friend again, right? Or open about it. She wants to make her a bench, right? Which she had to, it's a kid, right? So you're gonna make a bench for her. So that's, 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 that's a spot line, right? Um, however, though, I made this review because this anime surprised me on one major thing. But like I said, right, it's like a vacuum, it's cute girls, it's girls pouting and so on. But it's also like super high tech, yeah. Honestly, I was very surprised at this anime. Then I watched the episode here and I'm just like, wait a minute, why, why is it like drones everywhere? I thought it was like cute girls, again, do carpentering or woodwork or whatever. Like cute girls building benches and chests or whatever. That is happening. But you also have that she's living with this like super smart androids, they have tech everywhere, everything is like auto automated. So for some reason, because honestly I have no idea why this is a thing in anime. Like seriously, right? because again, if the premise is just cute girl done woodworking, it can just be like modern time, right? It can even be in, in the past, right? Or so whatever. But instead it's like... 100 years in the future and cute girl do woodworking. I guess it's a little more like doing woodworking is more crazy, I guess, right? Because they have all this future tech, right? And I guess the storyline is going to be that this girl here, uh, Pururin, as she calls her, right? Her nickname. She's, she's going to this like advanced super small school and they're making like 3D stuff and printing shit and so on, right? So she's probably going to do the kind of want to do the opposite, right? Like super high tech woodworking or whatever, right? So I guess it's some kind of conflict there, you know, like old tech or new tech or something. But otherwise, yeah, the anime is kind of weird because it is cute girl gone cute stuff, but it is cute girls in the future, right? Which isn't really how it usually is, right? It is, it definitely comes with a sci-fi twist here, honestly, because usually these animes are basically exactly our modern timeline. Right? The fishing anime, uh, okay, cute girls gone fishing, right? You know, again, our timeline, right? not only our, cute girl living in, in the peasant farmland, right? But it still is our time. It's not like how Seisha goes, they happen to live in rural Japan, right? Uh, this is one of the few cute girls anime that I've seen that takes this like re really weird like technology approach to it. So that might give it an extra interesting spin, I think, for this anime, right? I'll talk about the main character again. Obviously super clumsy and aloof and so on. It's gonna be a large part of it, right? As we can see here, she's in the woodwork carpenter place, right? And otherwise, though, I was talking about the anime is very futuristic. Otherwise, it feels like a very straightforward, typical school situation or anime, school club anime. If you've ever seen a school club anime, you're gonna recognize the main trope, but they have two storylines, right? Again, she wants to be a bench for her best Sundra girlfriend team, right? But also, the captain, which is badass in skate to go, whatever, right? She, tomboy girl, uh, whatever we call her, she needs to get five members. So it, it is very, very classic school, you know, club anime in the end, right? It, it, it's in the future, but it's the exact same issue like the anime where they do cheerleading, right? Or whatever, yeah. So she basically forcefully, forcefully recruits the clumsy girl because like, well, I, I need more girls, right? So she picks her anyway, 
obviously terrible, and her mom actually banned her for doing woodworking. But she gets pushed anyway, right? Because she needs to have five members, right? She needs to get three more members. I'm guessing that her Sundra girlfriend is gonna join them anyway, probably, right? In the, in the club and so on. So they can hang out and so on, right? So otherwise, it follows that very classic anime school. I mean, I was complaining. I'm just saying that it is what it is, right? That is every. It's like exactly like this every time. So the first episode is gonna be them to recruit the members. See the baseball anime? Same thing here. Shielding anime? Same thing here. Etc. 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 Right. But I, I won't complain. I'm just saying that, man, this is a trope storyline. <laughs> it's the real anime. And yeah. <laughs> like was, of course, the only, you know, grown ass person right, in the whole anime, except her mom then. The sensei happens to also be, of course, the advisor of the woodworking carpentry club, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, but if you ever seen any of the other anime, it's always the same thing. Oh, it happens to be that this woman is also uh, the drunk lady, is also the, the camping uh, chili or whatever, yeah. Oh, she's also the camp master. Oh, this woman here is also the math teacher. Oh, she also does, you know, whatever, chili or something. It's always like this. Oh, this piano teacher, she can, she can also be this teacher. It's always like that one only teacher gets to do every job right. I think it's fitting though, because there's a flashback with the main character cuts her arm, she drops a knife on her feet and so on. So it's fitting that they have the nurse or doctor sensei to be the carpenter sensei because she's gonna need to help heal her every episode. So let's hope the catch then. Uh, so yeah, we have the cool badass senpai, she's the captain, right? She's the, her parents run this Waku Waku store, it's called like the Waku Waku something like that. Like straight up, yeah, Waku Waku carpenter. And, you know, she's the cool girl with green, orange hair, right? Kind of a tomboy, fixes everything, got stuff ready all the time, right? She's that, yeah, badass, badass senpai, right? We got the aloof girl. We got the Sundry girl, right? We got the Kafka coming later, and we also got obviously her like introverted friend. I know anime, right? The Megane, introverted, she's gonna join the club definitely. Then we got this weird like cat girl, she's like meow meow or something. Yeah, she's straight up that's cat sound, so she's obviously gonna join the club. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, but anyway, I like a lot actually. Yeah, this episode was great, but it certainly has all the tropes, right? Yeah, we got the Sundry powder girl, we got the uh, you know, the aloof girl, we got the tomboy girl, we got the cat girl, the, 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 she's a weird, yeah, we got the weird cat girl, right? So they have all the typical moe, uh, it's all the Sundry, the Kuru, the you know, it's, it's, all, it's all the deers, all the moe types are there, guys, okay? So if you like cute girls on cute stuff, right? That's anime, and I do think the art was really good too. Yeah, the art is very interesting. They got this very cool visualization in the background, and so on. It feels very, the animation feels very, I don't want to call it really, but it feels, it feels, it feels fluent. It feels, you know, it feels a great flow to it, yeah. And I feel it really fits, especially the main character being this like clumsy, weird, it's like, oh, I've tripped again, yeah. It feels, I feel it, I feel it really makes her body work, work really well now. Right? She's all like, oh no, what is happening? Get to me, oh yeah. So I think it really works a lot in that case. Right? Uh, but anyway, what do you guys think? Is this a good new uh, cute girl? Uh, I probably don't review an anime is over, right? I did a good episode one here, guys. And you know, subscribe, press the like button, right? And I'll see you guys and have a great day.